This is hydrogen tap. What we're going to do here is a new type of test on the air and cell. Three inches by six inches cellars. This is the twin that you're looking at and what I'm going to do now is tie these three and these together, these three separately. Have one plate that's standing alone. The reason I'm doing this test is strictly to see what the different combinations will do for the hydrogen flow. What I've done now is attach two red clips to this section which I'm going to tie together. These two will be tied together. The yellow here will be the third. So this will be plus side, this will be negative. The plus is taking over all these. I'll show you how that works in a second. Okay, we've got the Aaron cell in there now. This is 15 plates. As you can see here, I've got the two sides connected. I'm going to connect this up to an amp meter here. Just a second. And I've got a battery that's charging at 13.26 volts what we're going to do now <clears throat> so negative to one side of the battery the other side. Hopefully I've got the meter connected right. It's always backwards. Okay, just a minute. We'll try it again. Okay. This is our setup. Can't use a digital voltmeter because we're over the the uh, amps. This is our battery is at 1326. It's charging. And we're going to turn the System on. Interesting. We're at eleven amps. I have to turn it off here. Wow, that was very interesting. That was very interesting. I think we've produced more hydrogen that time than I've ever produced before. That with 11 amps at 13 volts. We'll let it clear here for a minute.
get a good view of the cell here. Wow, that was an incredible amount of hydrogen. Man, I turn on again. We're at 11 amps. It's just pouring out of that system. I've got to turn it off. That was very interesting. <laughs> Boy, really produced hydrogen that time. This is a standard Aaron cell, 15 plates, 3 by 6. I'm going to pull this out of here and show you what, boy, the air is full. Show you what I did. Wow, there is still hydrogen clearing from the tank. I mean, it is still full of hydrogen. Okay, this is what I did. Wow. Okay. Losing my voice here again. I've got... Here's our electrode. It's going through one, this plate, this plate, and this plate. This is positive. I've got an electrode over here, which is also positive. And it's going through all of these plates on the other side. So there's seven plates over here. So we got seven plates over here, one, two, and three over here. That's ten plates. Positive. This here is the negative side. Got one, two, three, four. Four on the negative, and then one in the center here, which is doing nothing. There are still hydrogen bubbles on the top. And we were running that at a little more than 10 amps. At 13 volts. This is the standard Aaron cell. That is producing a considerable amount of hydrogen. The reason I'm able to do this is the Aaron cell is set up in such a way that we can change the electrode configuration. This electrode will go through as many of these on this side as we want. It's split with another electrode over here. This is an incredible amount of hydrogen this cell is putting out now and I'm sure I'll get a lot of mail saying why